Maddie, thank you so much for sitting down with me of today. Happy Tell to me, be here. Yeah, we're, we're really pleased to have you here with us and learn more about your campaign. Good. So tell me, you know, what your campaign stands for and what you're really hoping to see if you are elected. Oh, you, my campaign is all about the working families of this district. You know, when I think about this district, I think of it in its entirety and that it is much more than just Savannah, as much as we love Savannah. This is a big district, 15 counties, mm -hmm. most of them rural. So those are the citizens that I'm really concerned about, and those are the ones that I really want to represent. Yeah, and speaking of those counties, what would you say the key issue for residents in these counties, what they're facing right now, and how would you uh, bring to the table some solutions for that issue? Sure. You know, I don't think there's one biggest issue. I think there are a lot of issues that need addressing in the district, but I think one of the big issues for our citizens is health care. Mm -hmm. You know, 14% of our people in this district do not have any health care insurance at all. We know we have lost a lot of rural hospitals. Many of our counties do not have 24-7 emergency care. So, and the cost of health care, access to medications, these are all really big issues for our people out there. So that's one of the things I really want to focus on when I get into Washington. Also a big issue among voters nationwide and right here in Georgia, the economy on everyone's minds right now. We're all feeling that pinch from inflation. How do you plan to address that, that topic? Well, I think that inflation is really coming down, and I think the Biden administration has done a great job getting inflation down. We can see the Federal Reserve is feeling comfortable in reducing interest rates, so we know that we're going in the right direction. Now we want to make sure that we're really creating an, a competitive environment uh, for services and products in our area, competitive environment for groceries, competitive environment for health care, so that those help to naturally bring prices down for our people. So those are the kinds of things that I think policies that really will make a difference. In addition, we need to make sure that our, uh, the folks that live in this district have access to good jobs and good paying jobs so that that will also boost our economy. We need to make sure that small business has a place to thrive and has a place to grow because many of our, in many of our rural counties, small business is the heart and soul of these communities. So these are some of the policies that I want to put forward in order to make sure that we begin to bring prices down, we continue to bring prices down, but we also continue to allow our working families to thrive. Yeah. Um, another big topic on the national stage, of course, abortion. Would you vote to change Georgia's abortion law, or what is your stance on that issue? Well, I think at the federal level, I would support the Women's Health Protection Act. Mm -hmm. I think that women have been suffering and dying because of these laws, these mm -hmm. draconian laws, these backward-looking laws. Women have, are entitled to their health care, and their rights have been taken away from them. Also, doctors' rights to provide health care in the manner in which they see fit have also been taken away from them. So we have to remember that abortion is health care. Abortion is a medical procedure that saves women's lives every day. So I want to put forward the Women's Health Protection Act, and I expect to do that and have our next president, Kamala Harris, sign that into law so that nationally women have their health care protected. What makes you the better candidate for voters out there who may be undecided still? What makes you the better candidate for District 1? I think what makes me the better candidate are a couple of things. First of all, I have a vision for this district and how this district can share in the prosperity that is coming our way. You know, this is one of the fastest growing areas of our entire state, which is really a point of pride for us. But we need to make sure that those benefits are shared broadly across the district to all of our areas and all of our counties. We need to understand how to connect all of our counties together so that people can get to jobs, for example, and things like that. I think that I bring that fresh vision to this area. You know, I have not been a career politician. I do not have my eye on my next, whatever my next role in politics is. My eye is on this district and the people, and that is who I intend to work for. And I think that is a very big difference between myself and my opponent. My opponent is preparing for the next rung on his ladder as a politician, and his eye is off the ball here at this district. People recognize that, and they are ready for fresh leadership.
All right. What are some words that you have for voters before they head out to the polls? Some voters already have cast their ballots. Early yes. voting is happening right now. Yeah. What What is your final message to voters who are heading to the polls? Oh, my final message for voters is, first of all, vote in your best interest. Vote in our country's best interest. Think about the form of government you want to have going forward. Do you want a democracy or do you want an autocracy? Because those are really the big choices that voters are being asked to make. So I say go to the polls, bring a friend to the polls, bring your family to the polls, and vote in your best interest. All right, Patty Hewitt joining us. Thank you so much.